Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Lies of P. Last time we left off, we got one of uh, these thingies right here, the cryptic vessels. And um, yeah, I went to the Krat Central Station thing and just started running, basically. And I'm seeing ocean around here, so thinking this is probably where I need to be. So we just gotta look for the spot. Thank you for the Fable Catalyst, friend. So we probably want to continue this way. I'm supposed to be able to see a great view. This is totally it. I see Hotel Krat. I do love this view. It is a nice view, but we must be moving. No, we mustn't. There's a thing around here. I think. Let me uh, look at the picture again. So, I mean, is that not is that not the view? Hmm. Where exactly is it? Because that looks pretty good, but we might be too close. Yeah, I think that's slightly further away, maybe. Hmm, I've looked just about everywhere to see if there's like a prompt or anything here. But something that I noticed on the picture is it has this. So this one right here has a, hey, aim at this thing and hit it. This has what looks like a head with a thought bubble in it, which I think is the logo for gestures. So I gotta do a specific gesture? Check ground. It's gotta be check ground, right? No? Maybe I'm not in the right spot. Gotta be here, though. It's gotta be. There's there's no way. This, this has gotta be it. It's like telling me to use a gesture. And I feel like I was in the right spots. I guess here, yeah, it's like, it's further back. It's like right in front of this board. Ah, uh, okay. The atoned hunting, the atoned hunting apparel. So I was thinking for a second, I was trying to go what it actually, go by what it actually showed here in the picture, but I was thinking maybe if I just walk to where Jim and I, or Jim and he, like, actually talked, maybe that's it. Because that, to me, doesn't look like where I am right now. That looks like it's way further back. But, whatever. I guess. So. We got... The Atoned Hunter's Attire, right? Here it is. The hunting apparel of the Atoned. These clothes still bear the wounds of regret and despair. She was proud of protecting people as a stalker. However, her dignity was crushed when she realized that she had become a guide to hell. Move to equipment. Uh, that's pretty good. You know, we'll wear it just because it's different than my, uh, my other thing. I still don't have an accessory that I like. Um, and then I th believe I got, like, a Legion Caliber. Yeah, so I have I have two of those now, so I can upgrade my um, my arm, which is good. Uh, fun fact: when I was loading into this area, I th believe I got a tooltip about that character. I hadn't even pressed the recording button yet, um, but uh, when I was loading in, it said there was once a, s a legendary stalker who wasn't a bastard or a sweeper, and instead got by on her own prowess that she did by her like she did a bunch of thing crazy things by herself which i thought was interesting given the context of what we just learned from uh looking at the description for this armor so that must be this character and it seems to be a character that fought for the people basically so that's neato all right hit me with it so modify legion arm leakage current i believe is what i want it's really good. Inflict damage while you're charging. And increase the maximum level for charging. That is scary because I don't even know if I would want to do that, quite frankly. Because right now I can barely squeeze in getting one of those off and an attack at the same time. Uh, I also did not go check collect my, my gold coin fruit. Um... Maybe I should do that. Some would say maybe I should do that. Yeah, 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 you know, you know. 
maybe they come maybe they're like really really important at some point but if i get to a point in the story and it's like hey you need a hundred gold coin fruit i'll just leave the game on and collect them because <laughs> uh right now i only really feel the need to go get more when i run out of the uh wish stone things and i don't use the wish stone enough to ever really run out so all right hi stupid puppet all right so let's get ready to go across here and then we definitely have a boss fight in our future absolutely have a boss fight in our future i feel neither of these doors open no i mean of course we have a boss fight in our future there's one of the summon thingies right there but let's see if it's a hard boss fight or not maybe they'll take it easy on me you know maybe just maybe who knows Oh, hey, it's me! And Geppetto? Oh, this is creepy. Is this gonna be a Shadow Link fight? Geppetto, please don't smile like that. <laughs> oh, it's so creepy. Holy shit! Okay, hi! Oh, no, don't do that, Pinocchio. Oh. <laughs> the face turns. Alright, well, I guess we're here. Hi, King of Puppets. We have to meet something, 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 something. Whoa, you have way less HP. You're two, you're two phases, you gotta be. No way. Look at how much damage I'm doing to you. The whole sense you're wrong, listen up. That's what I saw. Yeah, I got a little bit ballsy there. Okay, this has got to be meant to be a very, very easy phase. Okay. Ooh, I managed to block that, but I didn't block the second one. You have to sing the lives... Lives on the line. Okay, and I charged it too long there. Yeah, definitely a two-phaser. That was way too easy. This is definitely not the final boss. Yeah, now that makes, that makes way more sense. The Shadow Lord from near. You do look very similar to me, though, like facial wise. 
Romeo, King of the Puppets. I have to will you to sing it all. There's no other way. Huh. Okay, you seem very parryable. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and just get this attack just because I want my full heal back. Ooh, that knocked me down. I'm burning up. Is that what that said? Holy shit, okay. News of the Grand Covenant binds us. Were his puppets something? It's hard to it's hard to read it, especially in combat for me. That was a very, very good first attempt, though. I got the second form down to half health. That being said, there is a possibility that there's three forms, because... That still felt too easy, but once again, maybe it was just the, the first try curse. Striking. Like, maybe I was just doing very, very well on my first try, because... Yeah... You really didn't have that much HP, is what worries me. And you didn't have any particularly devastating attacks, but... Once again, maybe I was just getting lucky. We have to meet like this. Okay. Okay, that attack is wild. It's a follow-up. That has a big wind-up. That seems like an incredibly easy attack to block. I just gotta get better at doing it. You're wrong, listen up. Okay. Okay. Make sure we keep that heal up. I'm getting wrecked a lot more this time. Oh, let's stay over here. What the hell is that? Does that knocked me away. The whole place is teeming with monsters, of course. We have to stop them. Just trying to get my second attack in there. Yeah, I'm getting bodied this time. I haven't stunned it yet. Which is the big problem. Yeah, I haven't actually got the knockdown. Yeah. Of course I got the stagger right at the end. Okay. Okay, this is this is probably gonna take a little bit of learning. I don't currently feel if the boss fight is just two phases that this will take me as long as um, the uh, the Archdeacon did. I think that's what it was. Um, I don't think it'll take me that long, but we will see. I definitely need to clean up a lot of my uh, a lot of my stuff there, but um, I, th I think we should be able to pull it off. Yeah, you tried. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and pop this now so I can have this buff going in here. It doesn't last long, of course, but I was wondering when you would show up. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, that attack is very easy to get there. You gonna do it again? Ooh, you're like slightly faster that second time. Let's pop that heal. There we go. And you're wrong, listen up. Okay, we need to watch out for that attack when it happens. Ooh, that's a weird attack. I think I stopped you from doing that last time. So I didn't get hit by it. Mm-hmm. 
And let's make sure we just go ahead and get this damage. I'm not gonna waste time trying to do a Fulminus there. There we go. Okay, second phase, just like that. I have to kill you to stop it all, there's no other way. Okay. Ooh, good block. You really do look like a near character. Okay. Ooh, annoying. My heal off. Circle strafing seems to work well against you, especially when you do that attack. Thing. And get in there for the attack. Thank you. Okay, I got my heal. Whoa, I was trying to parry that. Holy fuck, that is... <laughs> that attack is wild. That attack is wild. It reminds me of, uh... Of, uh, Elden Ring boss. You know, the one. That one attack... That one attack that, uh... That she has. I was gonna say Marika, but that... That would not be right. Um, that one attack that boss has in Elden Ring. You know the one. Um... That is, like, basically a kill attack. That one. So... Very, very close that time. Feeling a little bit better about this every single attempt. Because we are getting closer and closer and closer, which, you know, makes sense. <laughs> if I had a few more heals, there would maybe be a better chance, but... Okay. Go. Oh. Good stuff. Okay, that was bad. Boom. And you get up really quickly after that. I don't have enough time for a Fulminus there. But that was a very, very good first phase. Now if we can just clean up this second phase. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the heal. Ooh, really surprised it didn't hit me with that, Romeo. You. And hit you with that, and then do one of these. Okay. Okay, here comes the attack. Oh, wait, that got it. No way. Is this is what it feels like. Thanks, Exile. Burnt White King, oh my god. Incredible. You defeated the king! I gotta think the puppets will have changed too, right? I mean, there's only one way to find out. Let's go backstage. Wow, that was... I did not expect that Fulminus to kill him there. I basically skipped the entire second phase in that big, crazy desperation attack you have. That was... Pretty easy. Um, I feel like that fight would be a lot harder if you specifically leaned into dodging more so than parrying, like I do. 
Um, because a lot of those attacks feel like they'd be harder to dodge. I think? But maybe I'm wrong? But... The parrying, you really just break them super quickly and you can pile the damage on. I really expected a third phase, I truly did. Ergo obtained from Romeo, King of Puppets. It is packed with immense power. A treasure hunter may want this rare Ergo. When the boy opened his eyes, he found himself sitting on a throne that he had not asked for. When he sought his friend of the past, he clung to his memories even though he knew there was no going back. So, since you looked like me, and you were talking to me like you knew me, because obviously I caught only bits and pieces of the dialogue there because I was in the middle of the fight, and it's hard enough to read dialogue in the middle of a fight, much less blurry dialogue. <laughs> so, um, but I did catch that you knew me, and you were like, oh, I didn't want us to have to meet here, um, you're wrong, and all of these things, which is basically exactly what I was guessing, the where the plot was going to go. Okay, cool, though. Um, so I got three things there. I got your soul, and I forgot to check the other things. Um, I got the Puppet Prince's formal dress, which looks awesome. Formal attire of the Puppet Prince. These clothes were worn by the red actress Adelina Corday while playing the part of the Puppet Prince in a play. During the curtain call, it was revealed that Adelina, who played the role of the princess, had also played the role of the Puppet Prince. The moment she took off her mask, the audience rose to their feet and showered her with applause and cheers. Well, it is a very, very... It's an awesome outfit. It is a very awesome outfit. Look at me. It it clashes with my arms so hard though. And I don't I don't like the pants. They're a little too poofy for me. A little bit too poofy for me. The top is amazing though. The top is amazing. So there's that. Um and obviously I got the soul and then I got something else. Um not quite sure what that something else was. I'm really not sure. Um, I'll have to look in the footage, possibly. Oh yeah, I didn't even switch around my stuff to deal with that fight, either. Yeah, I didn't even really have the proper opportunity to kind of build around it. I was already wearing the fire resistance thing, though. Which is funny, because you do use fire. And I didn't even have to switch around this stuff. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I know I got a third item. I just don't for the life of me know what it was. It was the soul, your your clothes, and something else. So, I'll, I guess I'll check that in the VOD, or someone will probably leave a comment about it as well. Um, as well as what some of that dialogue said, because yeah, like it, it was really, really hard for me to follow in the battle, but when you're able to pause the video and stuff, of course, I'll... Possibly remember to check them when I when I edit the VOD, I don't know. Alright, so cool. Uh yeah, how about we Oh people got a lot to say to me. A lot of people got things to say to me. And Estella Opera House Entrance. I'm wondering, if, do I need to go wearing this outfit? Because the thought crossed my mind that I need to go see Adelina while wearing this outfit, yeah? Let's go there just to, just to, just to check. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly where you were. I remember exactly where you were. Okay. Good, good, good. So... I'm kind of scared to go back to Hotel Crot now because there's three people I need to talk to. And it's probably going to be big story progression stuff that we're going to talk about. So I'm just like, I kind of want to wait. Hi, how are you? I want nothing to do with any of that. I'm just going to go over here and talk to my friend Adelina. Don't you even worry. Oh no, she's dead. Fuck. She just died. Red actress's locket. And fascination. <sighs> okay. A small locket that was given as a commemorative token. It holds a portrait of a pale girl stabbed repeatedly by a knife. The sisters exchanged the lockets as a sign of their friendship. The elder sister was pleased to stand always on the dream... On the... Something of our dreams together, your loving sister. 
the white lady's locket. Small locket even has a commemorative token. It holds a portrait of a beautiful woman in red. The sister she changed locket says the younger sister was pleased to stand always on the stage of our dreams together, your loving sister, Adelina. So Adelina actually hated her sister. Adelina was the older, and she actually hated her sister. But the white lady loved Adelina. So it wasn't a puppet that you were jealous of. Your si we did get your sister's name. Um, and you were jealous of her because she still had her voice even at the end there when we fought her as the white lady. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, now, what I would like to do... Now, I'm kind of scared to progress forward. Like was mentioned. Like, it, we it was like, go check and see what happened with the puppets. Do I do I do that first, or... Do I, do I go back first? Oh my god, I'm looking for my... There it is. <laughs> Most recent Stargazer. I guess let's go look behind the stage first. I guess. I think it makes more sense to do that and then go to Hotel Crot rather than the other way around. Unless this is like an ending... thing. Oh wait, I just realized I didn't even get a stargazer over there, did I? Oh no, I totally did. This was just the last one I stayed at. So, we'll go over here really quickly. And, uh... See what's going on back there. That's where I've seen the grand ex exhibition thing that said we needed to use a gold coin fruit at. That's where that damn thing was. Okay. Okay, no, this looks like a whole ass area. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that for next time. For now, let's just go back to Hotel Crot because we need to talk to Vanini, uh, the lady, and um, the person that runs like the little counter. Maybe that's what we got. Maybe we got. Yeah, maybe that's what we got. Maybe we got uh, one of the expand the inventory things. For that character. Wait, what? <gasps> oh no, he's dead! Oh, fuck. Wait, but you're fine. But maybe that's because you're like... What happened to you? No, left the counter. There's something I want to tell you, Geppetto's puppet. Please come to the Hilltop Garden on the way to Elysian Boulevard. Okay, is it, is it is it gonna go where I was kind of thinking it was gonna go, where Geppetto's actually the baddie here? Because Geppetto's been like leading us on, telling us to go do things, telling us to be a good puppet and not lie, and oh, he's so proud of us, and he's kind of been telling us where to go and stuff. Yeah. If that is where this is going, I kind of saw it coming, which is not a bad thing at all. I, I thought you, like, because I killed the, the King of Puppets, you, like, died or something. Like, you just stopped working. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. Uh, okay, Sophia. This condition is getting worse. I knew it would come to this. The petrification disease locks people inside a cage, inside their own bodies. We're all safe thanks to her sacrifice. But I wish for a miracle to save everyone. Me as well. I'll use my power to... Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and level up the advents. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that Fulminus is hurting a lot now because of how many points I have into advents. So that's quite nice to see. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you you have the crazy thing. A great weapon calls for a great warrior. Okay, so what new stuff do we have? Okay, we have the crazy sickle. The puppet ripper. Yeah, quick upward slash. Spin multiple times and attack a wide range. Chain sickle handle that once sprayed a bloody fog over Krat. The spring device allows the handler to extend or wind up the chain easily. Krat has a legend about a grinning hedonist murder. They say his heart was made of clockwork. 
I'm glad that didn't take me too long. I was a bit worried because it was the Puppet King, so I thought it was going to just totally bop me, but we didn't have too hard of a time. Increases the weapon attack in proportion. That was the Broken Hero. Proportion to the number of uh, Fable slots. All Legion Arms abilities tier plus one? There were three bodies, but their mind was one. The mind that sought revenge against the puppets by killing them the way their brother was killed. The mind that sought revenge against the puppets by killing them the way their brother was killed. Triumvirate. All Legion Arms ability tier plus one. So this basically just lets you go up a level on your Legion Arms without having to spin the things. That's interesting. I think I'll keep it for now. Um, but let's go check in on you. Cutscene, huh? No. It's you. Come closer, won't you? Yes, Antonia. At a certain age, it's a comfort to reflect on old memories. That's a portrait of me when I was young. <laughs> I was so feisty, so fearless back then. I loved the world, and the world loved me back. The passion of those days is long gone. But I still dream of those memories. I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any resemblance between me and that portrait? Do yeah, I still have a flicker of the beauty compared to that portrait? Of course, in my opinion. <laughs> it seems Gepetto even taught you good manners. Yes, those Beautiful memories are still vivid in my mind. Time. Time and the memories that fill it are all we have. I hope you're making some good memories of your own. It may be a comfort to you someday. The Ergo is whispering. No? I mean, I feel like that was the correct thing to say. I mean, you... Just, when someone ages, you can still kind of see their younger self in them, the way they hold themselves, their mannerisms and stuff, and I still get the same kind of feeling from that. I mean, yes, obviously you look different because you're older and you currently have the petrification disease, but you still hold yourself in the same way, which, you know, I think that's an important detail. So, alright, I think that might be it for this episode. If I... so we need... no, we still need to talk to Vanini and you. Yeah, that is right. But we'll take care of that next time. Uh, I think. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time for some more.